Hey, poetry students, it's your instructor, Cody Miller. I'm here with your week seven review slash week eight preview uh, announcement. Remember this last week we covered ephrastic poetry and also we covered narrative poetry. We spent some time the week before that in the gallery. We spent some time writing in the halls about different art, different techniques uh, of writing from the old ephrastic type poetry with just descriptions to more relevant questions to what art is and how it's been constructed. And then we started to shift our attention into the narrative poetry and we spent last class really focusing on the different elements that go into a poem as well as the elements that go into a narrative and story and how we can blend those together. You'll also remember that reader response two had come due and uh, that has been graded. So let me share my screen with you here so you're able to see what I see. All right, so there we go. So this is our schedule and the schedule is posted up here in the announcement area. Uh, so this is our tentative schedule moving until the end of the semester. Uh, remember, you can always check there and it's also in the smaller assignments. So if we go down to that smaller assignment area, so smaller homework assignments, you'll see that reader response due came due for us on the 24th. That has been graded as well. You should have received a, uh, a message that says, hey, you have a post in the forum. Uh, so that's been graded. Uh, reader response three comes due for us next week on the second. So that's gonna be Monday for us by the beginning of class. Remember essentially what you're doing is you're going back and you're looking at those readings that have been assigned for Wednesday and Monday. And then you are responding to those according to the reader response uh, follow-up post directions, or reader responses and follow-up post directions, which are right here. If you click on reader response three, you'll see that you can add a new discussion here and the directions can also be found here. We've had a little bit of a lack of engagement with these reader responses, so I'm hoping I don't have to switch out of the method that we're using here. Uh, but nonetheless, remember these are um, essentially 20 points apiece uh, that you're doing, so you wanna make sure that you are filling those out and you're getting those homework points uh, plugged in. All right, so that reader response three is due on Monday of this next week. We also have journal response four that'll be coming due on Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. So if I go to the journal section of Moodle, let's see here, where's journal? Let's scroll down a little further. There we go. Um, so if we go to the journal area, you'll see, let's just actually go journal entry submissions. There we go. So we're on this page, you'll see journal four has been posted. And what I'm asking you to do is to respond to essentially what the strategies are in ekphrastic poetry that we can use in narrative poetry. We spent quite a bit of time focusing on that last class period, as well as what ideas and uh, skills should you be focusing on in the narrative poems. So make sure that you remember that comes due for us next Wednesday at 11.59 last thing to remind you of is we do have some extra credit opportunities coming up. So if I go back to the announcement area of Moodle, you'll remember that there is a flyer section. So you click on the flyers. And then um, I think maybe the biggest one that I need to remind you of is the Notre Dame trip, in case you're interested in that. If you would like to travel with us, I need to know uh, to save your spot by today at 11.59. So let's see if we can get that to open up good. So we're right here. So uh, it's on the 26th from 4.30 until 10. Uh, first 12 students will be given priority, so that's why I'm opening it up to my poetry class first. You will have a chance to eat dinner at Notre Dame as well as have transportation and attend the poetry reading by uh, Edgar Garcia, which is right here. Now, you can still sign up for that poetry trip after today, of course. Just know that uh, you'll no longer be given, it won't just be open to you at that point, so spots may be limited. All right, so feel free to send me an email uh, if you are interested in that. When we look back at our page, we do have Black History Month uh, celebration going on over in the SAC today. Uh, you can check out the agenda for that. And then uh, lastly, next week, I believe on Wednesday, we have the Black Panther movie being shown in the SAC. So you can attend that film. And so that's on the 4th, I believe. Yeah, because our reader response three comes due on the second, then journal comes due on the fourth. And so does Black Panther in terms of attending the film if you would like to. There'll be a short follow up to that. But other than that, um, that's kind of what's preparing us for next week. 
So I'll stop the screen share here and say, uh, stay warm. I think it's supposed to warm up on Sunday. And most importantly, stay brilliant and stay a poet. Okay, thanks, bye.